Northern Cali born and raised, real shark about that tank. We go hard to blend the paint and spin them blocks, they said we can't. Talking all that tough shit, don't end up in a casket. Clock up on my hip, be the only thing that's plastic. Hit him in the belly, I guarantee that boy gon' fall. It don't matter who you body, you still a ratchet. What's cracking with the hint there on YouTube, man? Thank you guys for tapping back in, showing love, showing support, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down under, subscribe if you haven't already. And as you guys can see through the title and the thumbnail, man, today's topic, we got Chito Ranas, the king of the north. <laughs> the, king of the king of Sacramento, man. And yes, I know I'm going to get hate for saying it, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But uh, so he had an interview with uh, Lucky from Hoodstocks. It was a good interview, actually. I actually liked it. I enjoyed the interview because uh, he said a lot of things that I could re either relate to or, you know, just pretty much I could relate to. You know, he talked about kind of, you know, briefly on how he became a homie from Sacramento in upstate Sureño. And he spoke on the topic that's at hand, um, you know, listening to the ops, basically. His words, um, listening to suckers, you know. Um, so they were on the topic of, you know, of music and whatnot. And he kind of threw it out there like, you know, yeah, you know, like, uh, I think he said something about like how he would listen to Chicano rap, you know, like Brownside and whatnot. <clears throat> and uh, so... Lucky was like, oh, so you felt like since you were upstate, you had to listen to the homies like Chicano rap. And he was like, nah, I mean, it's more like if I like the song, I like it. And he's like, you know, just like there's suckers that I listen to, obviously, you know, speaking about the Northerners. Um, and he 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 mentioned uh, he slaps Jacob, Jacob being Lil T.Y.S. So uh, I, I at first I seen a clip because one of the, one of my boys sent the clip to me. And through that clip, I was like, eh, it kind of sounds like he's clowning. You know, it kind of sounds like he's, like, trying to throw a shot at Lil T.Y.S., especially calling him Jacob, um, which, I mean, he did. At the end of the day, he did take that little shot, like, oh, you know, I listen to Jacob. He's not going to say Lil T.Y.S., but he said what he said, and regardless, um, it don't matter whether he's dissing him or, like, it's a backhanded compliment. Like, he's saying, like, he, he well, I mean, he did say, he's like, you know, his music is hard, and it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a few songs by Lil T.Y.S. that... uh. I could bump, you know what I'm saying, and they're, they're cool, he had talent, you know what I mean, he passed away, but he had talent, and uh, I've been saying this from, like, the start of my channel, <sighs> like, music is universal, for me, I don't care what side, of, you know what I mean, you're from, I listen to a blood, I listen to a crip, I listen to a, 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 a homie, I listen to a border brother, I listen to a northerner, if it's good music, I'm gonna listen to it, you know what I'm saying, just like I would listen to the upstate homies like Creeper and, and Casper, and then uh, later on, you know what I'm saying, like the, the Bay Recons, the Silence, the Serios, um, you know, there was a lot of rappers that I listened to from upstate, but they were, like, back then, I didn't really listen to northerners, um, I didn't start listening to northerners up until, uh, I wanna say... Like, there was this rapper from San Jose named Travieso. He made a song called Blame It on Sanjo. That song slapped. Everybody was listening to it if you were from San Jose. I don't care if you were a homie, if you were a northerner, if you... I don't care who you were. That song slapped. And everybody was listening to it. And I remember uh, hearing that song. Um, I wouldn't feel guilty about it because that sounds stupid. You know what I'm saying? But I'd kind of be like, man, that song's, that song's whack. But if it was playing, I, I would know the I would know the words. You know what I'm saying? Like I I knew the words and everything. It was hard, but I just didn't want to admit it because I was being a hater. Obviously, fast forward to like like I said, like you know, high school. I didn't give a shit no more. I was like, man, this fool slaps. You know, I could listen to Woody before even even before like when I was like a freshman. I remember uh, I had one of one of my boys. We play handball at school, right? Um, and he would tell me like, oh, fool, like. I think the best, like from from both sides, like, cause he was he was like an affiliate, but he listened to everything that um you know like Chicano rap basically, and he told me like all oh, criminal is the best for like down south and then Woody's the best for the north, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I straight hated on Woody, I was like man that fool's whack, that fool can't even rap, all he does is yell, like you know just on some hater stuff, like literally I was just hating, you know I mean I was like 14 at the time but whatever 13 14, um but yeah I was hating hella tough. <laughs> And then fast forward to now, I can give him his props and say he's probably the best uh, northern artist ever. You know what I'm saying? Not from his era, not from, you know what I'm saying, like ever. I think Woody probably had the best bars of anybody that, and, and that's, it says a lot because there's northerners that have talent even to this day. Lil T.Y.S. is one of them. 
um, even Rico, Rico too smooth. I I couldn't stand that dude, but I'm not, uh, it's kind of like ironic, but I checked him out more when he dropped that diss track to Chitoranas. The uh, I forgot what it's called, bro. But it it was like um, no, nah, I don't remember what it's called, but uh, it's the one where he says something about the alley oop to the four way, and he kind of disses uh, Jalisco or whatever, but. You know, like I said, it's a disrespectful song, but, I mean, as far as music goes, the song was hard. And from then on, I started listening to other songs, and I was like, okay, the newer stuff is cool. The older stuff, I still don't like it, though, but, so there's Rico Too Smooth, there's Acito, there's, uh, there's this dude out of Washington, I can't remember his name, he's a skinny dude with long hair, uh, I think his name is also Woody or something like that, um, or, no, so I'm, hold on, I'm gonna look this up because it's gonna it's gonna bother me. Or I'll let you guys tell me in the comment section. But there's a dude from Washington. That dude goes hard. Um, there's a few Northerners like I said that go hard, and I, I felt kind of like that's what I'm saying. I could relate to the interview because Chito said it straight up. Like, yeah, they're suckers at the end of the day. Like, that's not. I'm not saying that you know I mean these rappers are suckers or not. How I feel about them on a personal level, I don't know them. I don't care for them. But the music is good. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's you know. If you can admit, like, here's the thing, right? And I'm I'm all over the place, my bad. But here's the thing. If you put gang ties to the side, right? Not that we can. Obviously, you're always going to have some type of, like, it's in the back of your head. But if, if you're a northerner and you listen to Chito's music and he's not dissing your homies, nine times out of ten, you're going to say that dude is hard as fuck. Because the dude got, he, he can flow. He can go from Spanish to English. Uh, most of his beats are hard as fuck. Um... It's just a lot of different things. Like, he's got talent. And there's a lot of talent. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of talent that it's obviously... Like, even with the Northerners. The Northerners that have talent, they've never really blown up because most of the time, you know, they do the same thing. And, um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like music should be universal, man. Like, how, how Chito said it. I could listen to, to Northerners. I could listen to country. I could listen to rap. I could listen to corridos. I could listen to, uh, uh, like, the Spanish love songs, like Banda and all that stuff. I could listen to anything, oldies, freestyle, anything. I don't care. I'm not a hater. You know what I'm saying? I did all that as a kid where I was hating, like, nah, this fool sucks. Oh, he's wearing red on the cover? Nah, that fool sucks. But then I go back and listen to certain rappers now, and I'm like, damn, that fool's hard. You know? And, um, yeah, you know, I thought it was, I thought it was cool that he said it, but... Again, I did think that he was kind of clowning at first, but then I went back to watch the interview, like, like whole, and I was like, okay, so this fool was like, he gave props, which is cool. It always, it's cool when you can hear people give props. Like, obviously, yeah, you know what I mean, that, that's the opposition to him and whatnot. So he's, like I said, he said Jacob, he didn't say, he didn't say Lil TYS, nothing like that. But, I mean, you know who Lil TYS is when he says, you know, Jacob. So, uh, I thought it was dope. But overall, it was a good interview. Um, like I said, he did speak about uh, briefly on how he became a homie or why he became a homie, I would say, um, which I might touch on that uh, that subject, too, just because I can relate to it in a sense. Um, in a sense, I can relate to it, but I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see. We'll see if I could uh, break apart the interview and make a, a, a couple of videos. Just probably those two, though, just this one and the one where he became a homie. Um. But yeah, man, so it's a short video just to put it out there, you know, that it was, it was, I thought it was cool that, you know, he was able to give props to Lil TYS and whoever else he was thinking in his head that, that, that went hard. And it's crazy because Lil, Lil TYS is from Sacramento as well. And it's hard to give props from the dudes in your city. Like me, I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I first made my channel, somebody asked me a question like, oh, would you ever have a conversation with the Northerner? Would you ever be cool with the Northerner? And I said, you know what? I could have a conversation with anybody that's not from my area. Anybody that hasn't touched any of my homies or anybody that hasn't had beef with my homies or spoke on my homies from my city, cool, we could have a conversation. Not not about, you know what I'm saying, things like that, but like, we could be cordial, basically is what I'm saying. We could be cordial. But like, from my city, I was like, nah, I can't. I just can't do it, you know, especially my age range. Like, I've been around Northerners because of my family, like my uncles and whatnot, when they have their homeboys over at birthday parties and stuff. I'll be around them. I won't kick it with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll, 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 you know, I'll give them a little fist bump. I won't shake their hand, but a little fist bump, Um, you know, say what's up real quick and go with my family and do my thing. But again, I did think that it was cool that, you know, he was able to get, he was able to give props from somebody from his area. Because for me, it was, it was hard for me. I made a video and it's still up. You can still find it where I'm talking about Lazy Boy's interview at No Jumper. And I gave him props. You know what I'm saying? I didn't hate on him. 
I didn't speak down on his neighborhood. I didn't speak down on him as a man. I didn't speak down on none of that. <laughs> I actually uh, kind of uh, not backed him up. I'm not going to say all that. But I did kind of, you know, like, let it be known. Like, yeah, he looked a little nervous, but I don't think he was scared. It was just, you know, nerves from being his first interview. And uh, it was hard for me, honestly. It was hard for me to, like, kind of not save face, but speak um, kind of good on another northerner from my city because... But then again, I've never had run-ins with that dude or his neighborhood. I've never had any type of issues with them. I know homies who have, but not me personally, so I don't really have hate for them. But again, it, it is kind of difficult. You know, like, if you... It, like, I don't ever uh, show hate for any northerners from my city, but at the same time, in the back of my head, I'm like, you know, yes, I'll give props to certain neighbor neighborhoods, but that don't mean that I'm like, oh, yeah, we're good now. We're best friends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's just... It is what it is, but... I don't know, man. With well, this video, I kind of, I kind of, I want to, I want to put it out there. Like, I might, I, I've been wanting to do this actually for the homies. I'm gonna do a list for upstate rappers. I'm gonna do like top ten or top fifteen, maybe top twenty. I'm gonna do that. But I also want to do a top ten, fifteen, twenty for the northerners. And I know that one's gonna get, you know, what I'm saying a little, probably gonna be. I'm probably gonna miss some rappers. You know, what I'm saying I know I'm, I know there's gonna be dudes like, oh, you're tripping. You need to listen to that guy. You guys gotta remember, I don't really listen to all of the, all of the, all of the music. Um, I've slapped some of it, but I don't know it all entirely like I do for the homies. So if I get that, if I butcher that list and bear with me, you know what I'm saying? But it'll probably come soon. I'll probably make that video soon, but yeah, man. So you guys let me know what you guys think. Should I drop those videos or not? If not cool, you know what I mean? I won't do it, but if you guys think it's a good idea, let me know. Um, but yeah, man. So with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. If you did hit the like button, leave a comment down under. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you are from one side or the other and you listen to the opposition. Um, can you be non-biased and be like, yeah, that fool slaps, but F him because he's this or that. That's cool. If you, if you're going to say that, like, oh yeah, you know, like I'm this and I listen to this person or these people, but it's still F them in, like in my personal life. That's cool. That's perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so hit that comment section, man. Let me know what you guys think. Um, again, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Like I always say, man, the goal is to make it out the hood and not stay in it. And I'm out.